Hi there, Sagittarius, Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your April 2021 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Christy, from In the Stars by Christy.com. So for this month, we're looking into a new spread that we have over here. And this is going to be telling us more of the energies that we can um, get to experience, get to feel, and what might be going on for us for the month of April in terms of our personal life, love life in the present moment, what we are going through at this time, and to towards what's going to be happening very soon, and the overall outcome of the reading. And over here in this side of the spread, we have here some form of quick predictive um, information and themes that might be showing up for us for the month of April, it could be themes that are already in the spread or it might just have some form of topics that might be very important to discuss um, for the month of April in every aspect of your life, not just love, but in all types of love and relationship. And over here, we have here the twin flame notes um, that I made and this is really telling us more of the internal dialogue that you might be feeling and experiencing or the other person all at the same time it could be your divine female or divine male um, it happens and vice versa and it could be something that is being expressed or something that you might not know it is unexpressed but you have to know so um so yeah, that is how the reading setup that we are going to be taking a look on during this time for you guys. So again, before we begin, this is a general reading, so please do know that it may or may not tune in to each and every Sagittarius people out there, so just keep that in mind as we go along. So we're starting off with the Queen of Cups. This is your first card of the reading. Oops, <laughs> my mic fell off. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we you are starting off with the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the, and the King of Swords. Now, um, this is a very interesting um way of starting off your uh April because, um, it gives us a feeling as if the first time I I saw this um three cards, it gives me a feeling we're in. It could be a possibility that there is two people in this relationship that is not entirely seeing things eye to eye. So we all know that the Queen of Cups is all about feelings, all about, you know, the intuitive aspects of things, uh, being sensitive and all of that. And the King of Swords is really more of uh, the pragmatic kind of a person, very rational and very logical side of things. And even though that um, the ace of wands is actually a very wonderful card it brings passion um, awareness and new beginnings into the plate it gives me a feeling we're in you know we are starting off with a relationship that seems to be in a difficult situation you know of course this is not something that each and every sagittarius people is going to um, experience i just kind of feel that there could be a situation here we're in um maybe some of you guys are not seeing eye to eye with you and your partner maybe you have your own beliefs there are things that you want and that might be clashing with your, your with your partner again this is a general reading so i don't expect everyone to have um the same um situation um with this reading this can also be a situation we're in um you might be at the point of your life or in something is about to burst out in you um maybe because you are too passionate you know there's strong fire energy that i'm picking up over here and you might be expressing this or wanting to express this in a very cold and rash way at the very least you know it's it's as if uh, we're dealing with a certain person who is trying to be patient trying to hold it in to a point we're in you know it's as if a volcano is about to erupt so it gives me that feeling and that energy so um, I would say that uh, this definitely goes through 
um, the type of Sagittarius that are having issues in their relationships right now. If you are already happy in your love life, I don't think that this is going to be the reading for you. So this is only uh, the reading for those of you who are having some form of um, difficult moments in terms of their love life, especially when they feel that the other person is really not in the same wavelength as them. So um, uh, what's going to be happening very soon? We have here the Three of Cups the six of wands and the nine of cups and this is actually a very wonderful energy it gives us a situation we're in you know um maybe some good news is going to be happening and uh, it could be that from being confused or from coming from a situation wherein things are not progressive in a relationship it could be a situation wherein you guys are not seeing eye to eye uh, with the month of april might give you guys some form of a breath of fresh air wherein um, there could be some form of enjoyment some form of good situation might come about or a feeling of being alive once again in some form of good news and feel good moments and maybe you guys are going to have a lot of drinks social activities dating out and you know all of those fun stuff so this is a very harmonious energy and i would say that this could be good news and maybe maybe um in the past things have not really been working out your way not in the way that you want and not in the way that you desire and this is more of a situation where it gives us an idea that things might just occur in a way that um everything falls into place in the way that you like in the way that you envision things to be so it is a very positive energy if i had to say so myself this could also be a situation wherein you know you could be at the point of your life wherein you are just really wishing for things to get better because at the end of the day nine of cups is also a wish card it does not really tell us that you are going to get your wish right here and right now it could just be a fact that there's something that you are hoping to achieve and that could also be the theme for you guys you know hoping for the best hoping that things occur in a very um wonderful way you know having a lot of faith into things all of those kinds of things um this can also be a situation wherein uh, there is a chance that you might be dealing with someone who is not just cold, but also f so full of themselves. So it's quite a, it's quite hard to 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 work around with this kind of a person because um, some of you guys might be waiting for that person to take action or waiting for someone to 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 be more appreciative towards you or waiting for someone to be more sensitive or um sweet towards you but uh, this is not really a situation of sweetness so it gives me a feeling we're in you want someone with a, a huge lot of ego in them and a lot of pride to kneel down before you so it gives me that form of feeling especially since we have the king of swords and the nine of cups all together right here so if you are that type of woman for example because i would assume that most women are the ones that will feel this um you might need to to really reflect on on what you want and if that is actually feasible to occur in your life and in your situation is that realistic is that the person that they are maybe you are idealizing something too much about your partner or with this specific person you know especially if they are not the type of person to to let down their guard they're not the type of person to be really sweet and vulnerable you know is it really possible you know so i kind of feel that we need to check in what we are demanding right now especially in terms of our love life and relationships and we should not be too irrational with certain things um despite the fact that you might be emotionally driven right now i really do not see you um 
I don't see you in a way wherein you are emotional, um, emotionally uh, weak or anything like that. It's really more of an emotion wherein there's so much passion in you. <laughs> it's like I want to have things my way and I, I'm not taking no for an answer. But um, I, it gives you that energy here that we need to be more realistic when it comes to our love life and relationships because we might burn bridges um just because we want to push what we want you know and what we desire and we are being stubborn about it even though it's not the most realistic thing to do and not the most not the most realistic in your own situation so um uh, for your outcome for the month of april we do have the death card the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, um, with the Death card and the Wheel of Fortune, this is really more of a situation wherein something is at a standstill here. It's either that, um, like I mentioned earlier, you might need to think about what it is that you are wanting and how how reasonable and logical this can actually be for your own situation and relationship. Because you might need to accept things the way that they are. You might also need to, to adjust um, based upon the most realistic mindset for your relationship or for your situation. Especially if um, there are just certain things that one cannot do. Because that's not just part of their persona that's not part of their personality and that's not them it's about you idealizing something with your partner and you know this is your fantasy it's n it doesn't mean that that is a person that you are with in reality so i kind of feel that this is really more of a, a situation that is very much common to a lot of female people wherein um they have this desire and idealistic love that they want to have that they want to feel and achieve um despite the fact that their ideal situation is very different with the person that they are with and that is the reason why they are expecting too much and that is the reason why um there are unhappiness and uns unsatisfactory kind of a situation and experience that they are having in their relationship. So, um, I kind of feel that a lot of Sagittarius people might need to reflect on certain things. And, you know, it's not just about being prideful because there is something that you want and you want it here and now. So there could be a very reflective energy into this. And I kind of feel that for some people, not for all Sagittarius, you might need to accept some form of hard truth um, that is unavoidable during this month, especially when we have the Death Card and the Wheel of Fortune all together. Because this tells us that there is some form of um, karmic and fated event that might be in store at this time. So, um, at the same time, this can also be a situation of healing and being able to understand things and being able to, to overcome certain adversities. But more than anything, um, I kind of feel I'm being called to tell you that you need to wake up. You need to wake up, Sagittarius, and to make sure that you're actually in line with reality and not just going on and on with your head. So, um, so yeah, uh, this could also be a situation wherein, you know, you are going to be working on things to, to achieve your own happiness, whatever decision you come across. It is something that is in line with what you feel and what you think you deserve as well. Over here, the themes that we have is anger. Uh, this is all about agitations and frustrations in, in life. And we have a separation, breakup, distance, and a union. So this can happen in, in two different ways, I feel. This is more of a situation wherein it could be that your situation right now is dealing with a breakup or a fight between two couples. 
um, and maybe there's going to be some form of distance between you and your person. And the reasoning behind that is probably related to the things that I have just mentioned about, you know, being idealistic and realistic to your situation and the partner that you are with at this time. There is a very, very small um, chances that there could be another person into a, in, into a certain scenario. That is possible, but uh, that's a very slim chance. And this could also be a situation wherein you might be able to to um, revive a relationship, an old relationship, since we have here a union card, which is all about coming together. And sometimes the death and the wheel of fortune can be an element wherein, you know, something is at a pause and standstill but it starts moving again so um there is that kind of energy i just kind of feel that more than restarting the relationship or anything of sort i kind of feel the biggest emphasis this um whole theme of the reading for the month of april 2021 is going to be for a lot of sagittarius people has a lot to do with facing reality and facing um, what is actually realistic for your situation, you know? And it's about you not being too stubborn with your own beliefs in terms of your love life and relationship. And, you know, make your demands realistic, you know, and doable. And, you know, you cannot expect some form of miracle to occur when, when you're not really being open to things in reality. It's like waiting for someone who is uh, disabled, you know, it's something similar to that an analogy. So with our twin flame notes, we have here the message of I need to be alone. I need more time. And can we be together? Now, the interesting about here is that the last card that we have is the I can't do it. So maybe the other person also wants to work the relationship with you but at the same time you know they just cannot do what you want them to do even though they want to be with you so this ends up in a stalemate situation wherein nothing really happens no progression and you do your own thing and he does his own thing and you know this is not going to be very helpful in terms of your love life and relationship so yeah I, I really kind of feel that there's a lot to think about for a lot of such tired people you need to be um i would say do not expect that you're always right <laughs> and maybe you're wrong and maybe you need to reflect something you know maybe you need to change certain things so that um, some form of movement will happen in terms of your love life and relationship in a way that is really much more effective and true and another aspect this could be a, a warning situation that um that we might need to keep our anger and ego in check within the month of April because maybe all that fire energy, especially as we go to the middle of April to the end of the month can be quite chaotic. And for a fire sign, just like you, you know, you might lose control of, of your own feelings and, you know, being harsh and being too dom domineering and, and demanding and all of that kind of stuff and that might be affecting your partners and if that is the case i would say that this could be a time we're in there could be things that you need to to think about think about your own decisions think about what you actually want and how realistic as this really is you know are you demanding something that is impossible to achieve you might need to answer your own demands and your own concerns in the relationship if you actually want to to keep the relationship or to save the relationship or to to make some form of progress in terms of your love life and relationships all at the same time now for my keeper cards we have here the bad health card the lover's card now this too gives us already a signal wherein this is a relationship that is actually suffering 
and having some form of difficulties the bad health card is really more of a situation we're in you know it basically sickness and um in ancient fortune telling method when there is a thick sickness card this is actually already a problematic situation in you know so what is sick the relationship is sick so there is some form of problems in that relationship and you know it is a relationship that is might be f filled with toxic situation there could be problems in that relationship and we also have here the courthouse we're in you know this could be a situation we're in it might need some form of reformation some form of changes and construction in the relationship needs to be made um to make a relationship work out you know to be to make it more functional to make it harmonious again so i kind of feel that this is going to be a perfect month for a lot of sagittarius people to to start letting go of the things that is not working out in the relationship and stop holding on to them especially if this is bringing your relationship down you know if this is just ruining your relationship because um after all, I really believe that at the end of the day, we really do not intentionally want to ruin relationships. We do not intentionally want for things to fall apart. It's just that sometimes our own attitudes, beliefs, and our own pride and ego gets in the way in terms of our love life and relationships. And I feel that this could be the right time to heal those things and to change those bad habits that you may have or they might have or the relationship might have. So, um, yeah, this is the breathing that I have for you guys, Sagittarius. I feel that, you know, for all of the signs, you probably will have to gain much more karmic lesson than most signs um but i believe that you are the sign that will gain much more maturity that comes with this all at the same time so um anyway thank you guys for watching and tuning in here with me if you do want a more personal reading specifically done for you in your own situation you can do that by booking a session with me through my website in the stars by christy.com and please do join my facebook group i do have a group of people with me there small community but slowly growing and we do talk about astrology i do give insights and readings all at the same time um, in that group daily as well and i also post um, spiritual topics and share my ritual um ritual works at the same time and um yeah that's it guys and i'll see you guys again next month goodbye